And to wet the appetite a little more guys, here is the finished article that's going to appear later on in the video. Well guys, Rich here and this, fingers crossed, is my Tamil World Willy eBay bargain. It's an original one from the 80s. Yours truly wanted one as a child, but my dad wouldn't have given buy me one. And I've always hankered after one since World Willy 2 came and went. Didn't come and get in there quick enough. I'll get one of those, or you still can get those kits, even the new old stock ones of those that become expensive. One of these in very good condition can fetch some serious money. I have got one on the side which is in a pile of parts which I'll show you right now and then we'll come back to this and show you where I think I might have fallen on my feet with this one. But before I do that guys, I would point out to the younger members of you out there, if anybody's wondering what the fuss is about this car, is it was the first RC car commonly available on the market that could do a wheelie, Long, just about everything can now, but years ago cars couldn't do a wheelie, first one out on the market that can do a wheelie. Now before I show my new Tamiya World Willy, I've just picked up on eBay, this is the one that I'm restoring, and here look at that guys, crystal radio in there, I have done things like taking all the springs off, getting all those cleaned up, I've got a full stainless steel uh, nuts and bolts kit to go on there, new resistors for the speed controller, resistors you say Richie, yep two resistors go on there but one is broken, you will know it's got two servos, one for the steering and one for a mechanical ESC which is tucked away under there. Now more on that as I'm going to show you something on that new Well Willy and that will become very relevant what, and it's why I think I may just have grabbed an absolute eBay bargain. And for that car I've also got a full set of wheels and tyres which I'm in the process of restoring as well as building a new roll cage up for it. And tucked away at the back there I've got the new body for my Well Willy restoration project. Anyway let's get on to our eBay bargain. Okay guys so why do I think this is so special? Well it came with this as the battery charger. This thing probably weighs about five pounds in weight. It is definitely probably the original battery charger that was bought with this car in the 80s. Certainly that wouldn't have been around at the time that World Willy 2 came out. This is looking very, very original. And when I pan around the car, and then we're gonna take the body off and show you the inside condition of the car. The wheels, I'm hopeful, should clean up. They don't look like they've been painted. The tires, are in very very good condition on the first one that I bought to restore uh, they were all perished on here so and you, the new tires you either can't get or they're like two three hundred dollars for a pair okay check out the quality of the springs on there this is a California based car and I suspect it has never seen rain in its life a little bit of damage on it which I'll go into in just a second but there again look at the back there guys no rusting at all on there now the roll cage is broken on there, but both bits of it are intact. So what I'm thinking, put a piece of wire down the inside, glue that back together, and that should remain nice and rigid on there. The main damage to the car is the driver. The driver has lost one arm, but fingers crossed, I'm gonna be able to source another one for that. Headlights, the original headlights still on there with the stickers. And you can tell this is the original World Willy because of the World Willy M38 sticker on the back. A little bit dusty, but by the end of this video, I should have all that cleaned up and we should be looking pretty darn good again. One thing that isn't original is this little block here. Um, so I'm gonna unscrew that and take that on there. I'm not sure why they've put that on there. I'm thinking, did they not want it to wheelie too much? Was that a bit of weight to keep the, the front end of the car down? But we shall see. And we've got down here the original Futaba transmitter, which are yours truly has put batteries in and it powers up. Now I'm thinking, if I connect a battery to this car, is it gonna work? Well, kind of, but I'm gonna put the camera back on the stand to show you what I mean. Anyway, guys, removing that body, I will say the bodies alone can go for like 170, 200 bucks on eBay for one of the original bodies. Just check out the inside of the car. Yeah, it's covered in dust, but look at there. No rust on the springs. Central spring looks virtually brand new. Pretty much like a car that has been sat there from the 80s just in somebody's garage or shed just gathering dust over the years. Now you will note the Tamiya battery connector on here guys. Uh, yours truly has got a battery to plug in. Now you're thinking 
turn the transmitter on, which is working, put the power on, and are we going to have power to the steering and the throttle? Well, I'll show you what happened when I first did it, and I thought, oh, anyway, I'm going to put the battery on and show you the thing running or not, as the case may be. And if anyone had any doubts that how this thing's going to come up, here's a quick taster of what's coming later on in this video, guys. Thumbs up if you like the looks of that. And guys, this is 1982 vintage spec. What do you think is going to happen when I connect this? We got power to the wheels. So, yours truly was thinking, now I've got batteries in the transmitter, and that works. Turn that on. Power the car up, right? And I'll have steering and throttle control on there. Although the throttles are obviously stuck on on there. Then it occurs to me, in 1982, you didn't have the electronic speed controllers like we do now. You had a manual one, just like on the Well Willy I'm restoring in there. So in here, there's two servos, one for the steering and one controlling a manual electronic speed controller, which means that this battery is not powering the receiver and the two servos. So it's going to need four AA batteries in a little battery compartment inside there. So my next job, under these two screws, see what the battery compartment's like, put these in, sort out the mechanical speed controller, as I have a feeling that may be stuck in place from when it was last run. If the battery went flat, as an example, it would have just died and the speed controller would have stuck saying on full throttle on there. It wouldn't have gone back to zero because no power. Hope that makes sense, guys. So, time to get the screwdriver out, see what lies under here. And if anyone was wondering on the mechanical condition of the car, check out that rear diff and the underside of the car. I think this thing is going to come up like new. Those wheels, may need a little bit of work, given the age of them, but they ain't looking bad. Okay, moment of truth. I think just these two screws and the nuts that they were attached to the underside of Richie, obviously. We have got one battery compartment awaiting four AA batteries. Our mechanical ESC is tucked away in there somewhere. Okay, guys, now, it occurs to me, I need to connect that battery up to see if the ESC, etc. is working. All I've got to do is connect the transmitter up. Now, thank goodness somebody didn't leave the batteries in there for like 30 odd years, because that would not have done this battery tray the power of good as it is. It's got a little bit of a crack on it there, but these things are quite cheap to uh, replace if that's like the only thing that needs doing. First up, we're not getting any power out on there. So I'm going to get the multimeter out off camera, track down where the power is going to, where it's ceasing, and uh, see if it's that ever actually getting any juice out of this battery compartment or not. Anyway guys, what it turned out to be, there's a crack in the top of this battery tray. So I've put two cable toys around it and tested it, but I don't like that setup as it's not particularly convenient. So I've got a brand new battery tray, so I'm going to fit that right now, and then we're going to test this thing guys. Okay, new battery lead all made up on there, so all I've got to do is connect this to this and it's ready to test. Okay guys, just got to put two screws back in and it's all ready to test. And your guess is right now, will it work? All I've done mechanically is fit that new battery box, nothing else at all, other than a very good clean, obviously. And if anyone wonders what I used to get the inside of the car that clean, a couple of cans full of neutral force and about 200 Q-tips did the job. Now one thing I would say guys, word of caution when using nitro force, these wheels weren't painted, but this stuff will strip of the, the paint off the wheels if they have been painted. So you don't want to go using that nitro force on the body for goodness sake. Okay guys, now moment the truth. Turn my transmitter on. What do we think is going to happen there guys? Very carefully start it with it off the ground. Oh, and the front wheels have just moved. That's because I already know the steering works absolutely nothing wrong with this mechanically i've cleaned the esc inside on there so i know it's a, so i know we've already got power to the rear wheels it'd be rude not to take it outside for a test moment the truth transmitter on battery on board the back i've stopped them down with a little bit of velcro on there at the minute because i need to size not like an appropriate tammy art size pack on there need to also tidy that wiring up a little bit on there and do something about this extremely long receiver well but i don't want to cut it as yet anyway let's turn it on we've got steering there guys now I know from practicing. We got throttle as well there. I'm being very, very gentle with this guys because I've put a lot of work into getting it clean. Now, I'm thinking guys, 
Well, this is brisk for his age. Bear in mind, guys, 1982. I'm, I'm trying to bring out the body to start with. Now you're thinking, it's not William Ridge. That is because what people used to do with these, for, for remember back in the days in the model shop, is people used to take them in reverse and then pop them in the air like that. <laughs> it works. That is so long ago that I saw somebody do that, guys. But that is the original Well, Willie car on that. With a larger battery, we may well be able to get a wheelie off the line. But in 1982, guys, that kind of blew people away. That ability to do a wheelie like that, mind blown, I'll tell you. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put very, very carefully go and take this indoors and show you around the body, which is looking just as good as this is. Okay, guys, so what do we think of that first spin around the yard? Thumbs up if you like the idea of how well that 1982 car did. And that is what you call a transmitter aerial for your car there boys so things for Richie to sort out on the car next is to get a receiver tube for it and cut that to somewhat of an appropriate length I'm going to cut it too short on there a larger Tamiya battery to go on the back I'm going to look online see what size pack that initially because that only is a tiny little weight I suspect the original one with a larger weight on there actually helped the thing uh, to take off and uh, on the wheelie side of things there goes but that's a mini school battery and there's something like 1200 milliamp battery pack on there anyway guys onto that body now just as I'm about to show you the body as I'm about to line it up on the rear spring there I also noticed that little hole down by the nitrous oxide can in there which ties in with the receiver aerial being there so yours truly has kind of got a receiver tube I'm going to fit that aerial right now okay guys now not only have I got a working vintage world willy but I've repaired the side part of the roll cage and I've repaired the rear part of the roll cage on there so the only damage that we've got to sort out is the driver's missing arm now the drivers appear to be slightly different to that in the world willy too so that may take a little bit of sourcing to get the right arm for that but as i've gone to so much effort on getting this thing up and looking nice as it is i might try and source one of those anyway guys as i say thumbs up if you like it i think it is coming on absolute treat not too far off being complete and certainly ready for its first proper test outing as soon as the source a battery. Anyway guys, if you don't want to miss that, then don't forget to subscribe and if you love this, bell being share with friends. Well, thumbs up if you like this video guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.